has nothing against uh, Riley Jager and I, and he knows that, which is why his face is turning completely red. Uh, he's shut off all access to his email from me. He blocked my email, so they bounced back. Be a cage match by the time this thing goes down. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, Chris, you take us out of Brian's segment. What is the event? Chris Michaels and Riley Jager will be taking the championship on May 22nd. Uh, we are here with yet another star for Illinois Valley Solo's Dance with the Stars 2011 edition and professional choreographer, the choreographer right next to me, Riley. <laughs> Jaeger or Jaeger? What do you want? Jaeger. Jaeger, okay. All during two shows, I introduced her as Jaeger until I was corrected by our tech director of all people. You just let me do that. And our star for Heckler Karras Foundation, Chris Michaels. Chris, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Chris. So far, so good. I can't say Yashik, Jasik, Yashik, Jasik. I understand. Go ahead. There's a couple variations of Michaels. Uh, we uh, <laughs> tend to just say Michaels, though. Is that C with Chris with a C or? No, that, that, that's actually uh, Chris with a K. My parents were. Um, Avant-garde. Yeah, they, they weren't thinking too well when they named me with a K because the hell I've endured since then. Yeah, no kidding. So, what's your day job? Uh, I do uh, afternoons on WCMY, 1430 in Ottawa. Very good. And how's the dancing experience been for you? Uh, she may be small, but she's kicking my butt. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I didn't even dance at my own wedding. Um, I, I just got married last year, and uh, my wife drug me out there for the three minutes of our first dance, and uh, that was all I did. So uh, it's really been... Uh, it's really been a challenge, but, you know, it's, she it's been so fun. romantic. I didn't even jazz my first word. She drug me out there. <laughs> yeah, she did. That's sweet. <laughs> but you know what? It gives you, like, hope for your 10th anniversary that, that you does. can go dance the waltz. Or what are you planning? Uh, well, um... Before we get into that, tell us a little bit about the Heckler Karras Foundation. That's who you're dancing yeah, for. Yeah, um, the Heckler Karras Foundation uh, is uh, really uh, geared towards uh, making uh, three facilities in LaSalle uh, a cultural and social arts center. Uh, they have the uh, mansion, which is really the big, uh, the big project that they're working on right now. They're trying to restore it to uh, its natural condition, and uh, um, it's it's a long road ahead. Um, the, the mansion was being lived in uh, up until just a few several years ago. Um, and they went through and whoever was in there painted uh, most of the walls white. Um, so they're trying to uncover the original artwork, which was all hand uh, painted. And so it's a, it's a long and tedious process and it's not uh, an inexpensive process either. It costs a lot of money to get the right people to do the job, so. And you are following in the footsteps of Trish, who danced for them last year. With right, her, yeah. yeah. With her Bollywood thing. Anything uh, interesting like that we can watch for? What's going on here with Chris dance -wise? Oh, well, he's doing pretty good. I think our show dance is something that hasn't been done before and should be the crowd pleaser. And uh, for our, sh our traditional, we'll be doing the waltz. So you're keeping us in the dark about the show dance, which is fine. Mm -hmm. right. Yes. Any lifts in that? Any acrobats? What's going on? Oh, uh, we'll see. We rehearse in an eight-foot rehearsal space. <laughs> the ceiling. Um, so the lifts are interesting. There's been a few titles that have uh, <laughs> been loose. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I've really enjoyed, though, Chris, are your um, online bits with you and Riley. And today... Riley doing her shoulder blade trip, which... Oh, God, okay, I'm trying to wrap my head around this. Still, point up. Anyway, it sounds like you two are having fun. Are you having fun? First time out as a choreographer in my name. Lots of fun. What are you expecting on May 27th? Uh, a lot of excitement. I was there last year as a helper, and it was really cool just being around there and seeing the excitement, and it'll be really cool to do it as a dancer this year. Got a good pupil here? Certainly do. <laughs> well... I want a few words, but they're all good ones for you. You yes. know, one of, one of the coolest things about, I was just going to say about Dancing with the Stars for Charity, not only are we making money for awesome charities, all of us, uh, but, you know, I can honestly say that uh, I've gained a really great friend, and, um, you know, that's what this is all about. It's it's the, uh, you know, the bonding that's been going on. It's, it was a little awkward um, going in when she wanted to do, like, a, uh, you know, romantic tango and paso doble, and I didn't even know her yet. Um, yeah, I was in my mom's living room, so, um, you know, since then, we've, you know, we've gotten more comfortable with each other. You so. know what, and you're going to make a lot more friends along the way, too, as I have and Don has. And Chris, now, do you uh, preview any of these dances for your wife? Uh, here's the funny thing. My wife is actually a professional choreographer. Uh, so in reality, uh, she could be helping me, but I have not divulged one uh, ounce of detail about that. Don, Don, we have next year, we have a, a go-to girl for choreography. Oh, we do, we do, we do. Uh, no, I think that's cool, though. I think that's admirable, because as tempted as you may be, you're doing this one on your own. That's very cool. Let's talk about the challenges out there. 
What's going on with you and Brian Towns? Uh, well, Brian called me. He said, "Look, I know that you're going to win. Um, so." <laughs> Care to say a few words, Brian? Hi, I'm Brian Town. <laughs> <laughs> this is the definition of upstaging, but go ahead. There'll be a challenge. There'll be a challenge. There'll be a winner, and there'll be Chris. <laughs> oh, he's rotten. He's rotten. Nice. <laughs> well, he is the state's attorney. So. Yeah. <laughs> Riley, are you afraid of speed these days? Call me for you uh, by Ottawa. So, uh, when you come to rehearsals, do you watch the pedal? I have noticed I got pulled over since this started. She's mentioned this one or two times, Brian. Is this fair? Well, actually, you know, the speeding was a good idea. I thought that was a good idea at first until she accosted me at IBC Sioux. Right, tell us about the challenge real quick here. Now, Chris, if you are to be a uh, place of right. brand. Yeah. We decided that if, if we don't actually get a top place, like top three, we're going to decide amongst ourselves who beat each other. <laughs> so that would be a friendly uh, little competition. But if uh, if... If I beat him, uh, he's going to be making a cash donation to the uh, Hegler Karras Foundation, in addition to buying uh, two tickets to my uh, wonderful Chicago Cubs, which uh, they will um, be winning the World Series this year. So, uh, <laughs> and we will auction those off uh, with proceeds. For this my chance go your way, Brian. What is the challenge thrown down there? Well, uh, if that turns out to be the case, or when that happens, uh, at that point in time, then my friend Chris here is going to buy two White Sox tickets Woo! and will be sitting right next to me during a game. And uh, and my partner, the lovely and talented Jane Chomas, who's uh, an award-winning pie maker, will uh, be making a pie of our choice for Chris to wear. <laughs> See, I have the advantage here because I used to be a mud jello wrestler. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I'm not really used to things like that. And our station is a White Sox affiliate, so I get all the tickets I want for free. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world, Brian. Oddly, this just got really weird, okay? <laughs> Well, I tell you what, I'm looking forward to the challenge. I'm looking forward to seeing who wins, no matter who wins, a whole bunch of money going home with every single charity with Illinois Valley Sailors. Dance with the Stars for Charity. Riley, tell us where. Tell us when. Seneca's Oak Ridge, May 22nd at 7 p.m. We'll see you there. He's the one in the jello. Oh!